Well, good morning and welcome to CBS News Mornings. It is 7 o'clock here in New York City. I'm Anne Marie Green, and here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Israel is on the offensive in southern Gaza. What is happening on the ground and the new disturbing allegations Israel is making against Hamas. And take a look at this. A home in Virginia exploded last night, what caused the fire and the standoff that led to the blast. The fight over aid for Ukraine on Capitol Hill is not over. Volodymyr Zelensky will address senators today, the plea he's expected to make. Plus, new court documents are making claims about what Brian Laundrie's parents knew before Gabby Petito was reported missing, what their son allegedly told them later this hour. And George Santos has only been out of Congress for a few days, but he already has a new gig. And we have the video. You got to see it. But we begin with the conflict in the Middle East. Israeli forces have intensified their bombardment in and around Gaza's second largest city of Khan Yunis. And this comes amid mounting pressure to prevent further mass casualties. In its latest update, the IDF says its troops have taken control of key Hamas military posts in northern Gaza and destroyed terrorist infrastructure. Meanwhile, at a U.N. special session, Israel said Hamas intentionally used rape and sexual violence as weapons of war during the October 7th attack. Israel has been critical of the U.N.'s response to the issue. Hamas denies the allegations. But our Chanel Call has more on the conflict.